My attention has been captured recently by the Lord's Prayer. I have found myself thinking about it and praying it and mulling it over in a way that I haven't done for years, if ever. It's like I'm discovering it afresh again. On the one hand, um, seeing it anew, and then the other hand, realizing that perhaps I'd never really understood it. It's like I'm discovering that what I thought were worn out old words that I knew really well. I mean, I was brought up in the Anglican Church. I know the Lord's Prayer. But I'm discovering that they're not worn out or old at all. They're full of mystery and power that I've never seen before. I am no theological expert, and I can't give you a biblical exegesis on the Lord's Prayer. But I have had a few thoughts that have struck me about it, and I want to share one of you, them with you this morning. I'm really struck by the fact that it both begins and ends with looking up at the glory and majesty of this mighty King of ours who rules in power and glory dwelling in the heavenly realms. In the Passion Translation, the opening line of the Lord's Prayer is, Our Father dwelling in the heavenly realms, may the glory of your name be the center on which our lives turn. And it ends with the line, For you are the King who rules in power and glory forever. It's like Jesus is inviting us to meditate on a daily basis on the majesty, the mystery of this God who rules in, with power and glory in the heavenly realms and who we are invited to call our Father. There is so much mystery in this ancient prayer. Let me share it with you and let's see what the Holy Spirit shows you about it. Our Father dwelling in the heavenly realms, may the glory of your name be the center on which our lives turn. Manifest your kingdom realm and cause your every purpose to be fulfilled on earth just as it is in heaven. We acknowledge you as the provider of all that we need each day. Forgive us the wrongs that we ourselves have done as we release forgiveness to those who have wronged us. Rescue us every time we face tribulation and set us free from evil. For you, are the King who rules in power and glory forever and ever. Amen.